I love my work. The great and man. I shall not stop. The next thing I do, I'll clip the lady's ears off. I'll keep my word. Yeah. I'll see you reap This one now, we're going to continue on these rosters because I got cut out now. Rosters and uh, the liberty of Rastafari and Boba Shanti like Bingy and 12 tribes. So, <clears throat> there's a big difference, they say, between Ross and Boba Shanti, I Bingy, 12 tribes. 12 tribes come from 12 tribes of Israel. And they was before, no, no, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. They was in the, before Aya Bingi, before Boba Shanti. Remember, I'll tell you this first, yeah? Bobo, Aya Bingi, then they, it come after, it come after. You see what I say? Right. Junior Reed claimed he was the first one to wear turban. Junior Reed at Arcadia. See what I say? People was wearing turban and them sat them there. Long before it, Baba Shanti. You see me? I said, black man was wearing, if you go in history and you look on old pictures and things, you see black man are wear them things sat on there from day one. But was it called Baba Shanti? No. Baba Shanti is some new sat on what come the other day. You see me? I say, and them Rasta idiot Rasta and talk about Leonard Ewell and Leonard, what's his name? Whatever. Um, who Mutabu could claim. And other people claim, say, them man, they are, are, are the first to, to, um, to do certain thing in Rastafari liberty, but them man, they are chat shit. You see me, I say? Them man, they are chatting shit. Because I know what I want for Rastafari something. And the Rastafari something is a joke something. Because one minute them say them is we have life, next minute them want to read Bible and practice religion. You see me, I say? So them is very, very confused, right? And me tell you, say this. Baba Shanti, Haya Bingi, 12 tribes, woman, run off and leave them because they stop, can't stop beat their woman. All right. They grow up, their, some of them grow up their children of Natty. And the children, when the children reach big enough age, them cut off Natty and say, this is a load of rubbish. All right. Because when their children growing up in this year, modern time, and they're seeing all different movements coming out, fighting against white supremacy, what are they seeing there? Mother and their father's movement, Rastafari movement doing, whether it's Baba I Bingi 12 Drive, doing absolutely shit. When you see protests after protests and groups formed and organized, founded long just a hard a day, but they making more inroads than Rastafari has ever made. See? And you listen to the talk with me and my Rasta Hydrin, and we say, Rasta is not even in a couple of years, it's a hundred years. We have years to go for it to be a hundred years or something. See? Or 50 years, sorry. Is it 50 years, him say? Something like that. But hip hop only celebrated 50 years the other day. So Rasta's not, not, not much before the hip hop movement. You see me, I say, my people, when Rasta was developed and something. So there's enough people, them, they're talking a lot of rubbish regarding Rasta. And Sizzler is a typical example of a rasta who talks a lot of rubbish okay the man they come with a teachings which is which is a false doctrination which is totally the opposite of every rasta who come before him him think he can make the rules and regulations of rasta liberty not for them to do not for them do okay they reckon that they they are the gate the gatekeepers him keeper and all of them all how you could get singer artists to be fucking gatekeeper for us that liberty 
You are your singer, your 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 poet, you 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 whatever you wanna be now. But you're not a pussy clot diplomat. Okay, you might go African dance with an African blood clot dictator, blood clot president, because that's what him do. If you go and look on YouTube, you see says the dot doing a dance for the Gambia president, and the man's meant to be so a big old dictator, big old dictator. So at the end of the day, and he's really a dictator. You understand? Do the history. Do your history research, see? And that's why enough of my African brothers and sisters, they say, we can't respect people like that. You see me what I say? Them man, they don't know how the thing is set, really. They say, you see, you, man like you, talk at the thing. You know how this thing is set. You know what I mean? I say, look, let me teach you history right about now. I and I is not trying to be African. I'm going to get that very clear, okay? I'm going to put this one out here. As a Caribbean man, we don't call it West Indies. It's Christopher Columbus lost, and he say he's in the west of India. And everyone know the Caribbean Sea is not only an Indian Sea. Okay. And Aina is a great scholar, professor. You know what I mean? And when I say Aina is great scholar, great professor, greatness comes from outside, outwardly, and within. You know what I mean? So if other people anoint me and say you're a great scholar, then I'm gonna I'm just gonna paraphrase what they say about the great man who's, who's addressing you here, Rastafari, Liberty, Boba Shanti, Aya Bingi, 12 tribes of Israel. 12 tribes of Israel. Why you call yourself 12 tribes of Israel? Why did you? I remember many, many moons ago in Haiti, now, and I and I doing some business now, some property development shit with some um, Jewish woman. And she said to me, as a Ras, Rasta, you is your star of David. I says, pardon me. She said, Rasta thing is the um, 12 tribes, don't you? I says, yeah, because I was shocked that this lady, you just knew about this now. And she said, her name was Angie still, you know. Mm -hmm. And I said, Angie, how you know about this something? And she says, look, and I grew up, yes, sir, you know, in England. I speak, you think you're the first Rasta I speak to? I said, okay. Well, go on. It's in the Hades, you know what I mean? And she said, do you don't know about the um, Star of David? I says, no. What's the Star of David? And she said, because she said, are you 12 tribes? I says, nah. I says, I and I just a, a Rasta. I mean, you know, Rasta that have no rules, no regulations. Rasta that have no one to answer to. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's what I told her then. And that's what I tell anyone now. Rasta don't have no, no, no organization. There's no one to answer to. There's no one, you know what I'm There's no one to answer to. There's no law. There's no law within Rasta. Rasta's a way of life. But yesterday they're bashing the Bible. Am I idiot? And whoever, how could you be a Rasta and you believe in what's in the Bible? I'm going to repeat this again. Is he Rasta? Um, Bobo Shanti, 12 tribes, I Bingi. You all read the goddamn Bible. That's how mad up you lot are. You see me I say? And when I and I look into researching black history, Rasta is the last thing that you will take on board. Because Rasta is idiot thing. As in, you see Rasta? You see, the Rasta liberty may come from my people. It was It's totally built on a different concept. It's built on a concept of <clears throat> researching into the black history, first and foremost. Not into Rasta liberty, you know. But in, because Rasta don't have nothing to research into. Do you understand me? I say, my people, you can't research our three, four hundred years ago, ago to Rasta liberty, can you? Right. So research into black history and you find what was the black people's thing before religion was even invented. The white man, he called this something voodoo. Do you see me? I say, my people, yeah. Baba Shanti, I am Bingi. 12 tribes, they don't work with this thing. They're meant to burn the Bible, put the, burn every unholy book, you know, every unholy book we call it, Quran, Bible, Maccabee, this one, um, whatever the Jews read, every, whatever the, the, the Christians read, whatever um, Muslims read, every one of them, a man put words in these goddamn books, and they said, you all, certain different people, Kabbalah, certain diff that's another one, is it? I can't remember. Certain people must um, read these something now. You see me, I say, the J Jacob, Jacobis or whatever it's called. Um, pe people must read this now. You know what I mean? Certain people, different people. And that's why 
I, you, I can't agree with all this rubbish books and dealing with books as, and, and, and living your way of life through a book who you don't know who the hell wrote that book now but let's live our life through a book you see me I say and say these scriptures are ancient and all this foolishness now and I could write a book you could write a book and call it a bible and a hundred years time people's going to think so there's some ancient people them and it was only me just writing the book according to me words of, and then have all these different passages in the book and have all according to talk at the thing according to Mike Chanter uh, according to Elizabeth and according to Goliath according to anything you could blood clot think of now you see me I say and it's a load of poo poo you see me I say and that's why enough Rasta you I said they got in Rasta family and they convert and they are in all kind of different cults. That's what I call it. They're in Jehovah Witness now. Some of the Nation of Islam now. Some of them just in normal Muslim uh, mosque now. Some of them, um, I even see many years ago how a Rasta could convert to, to a Sikh. He's a Sikh and he was riding a bike. You see it? The Rasta Sikh. He said he's a Sikh now. That's how much the black man needs something. They convert to um, Hebrew lights, Hebrew Israelites. And where's the Hebrew Israelites right now? Where are they right now? Are they in Israel? Are they in Palestine? Well, do you go? Are they fighting for land? Oh, they right for land? Do you go? Do you go? Hebrew Israelites are a bunch of jokers. They can just like Rastas, just like Nation of Islam, just like Christian, just like every religious sect, a bunch of jokers. Because I and I don't work with religion. I work with the first thing that the black spiritual world the spiritual world, the black people, the black race, you fools. We are, we are spirit all beings. We are a spiritual being. We are a spiritual individual. Soul and spirit we work with. You know, vibrations you work with. You understand? That's why we're the best dancers, we're the best movers and shakers and so forth. Because you're working with a spirit outwardly and inwardly within. And, and the outside spirits come and they just possess your clock. And they, you see me, I say, and they just take over you, your being. That's what we work with. And they give you directions into how to negate and navigate your, your, your way through this white supremacy world. You see me, I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this Arabic, Arabic supremacy world, black supremacy world, because I always tell people, they listen to my teachings. It depends on where you are residing in life, where you deal with a different supremacy. You see me I say? If you over over Dessa, you might think say you're dealing with a, a Korean supremacy, Asian supremacy. If you over Dessa, you might think you're dealing with Chinese supremacy, Japanese, whatever over that peninsula. No. If you're over Dessa, you think you say you're dealing with a white supremacy in Europe, England, all them places. If you're in Africa, you didn't have African supremacy of different government thing. And Bobo, Hi Bingi, Twelve Tries, none of them can talk about this thing because they they all they, they 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 don't they don't know how to talk about this thing properly. They don't know how to say bun this thing, but they can't. So how could we agree when you can't bun these foolish scriptures and say we are work with the ancestor spirit? Then? Uno white people, the PL man didn't know this something, so they were call it, so they named it voodoo. Over Yasa in the Caribbean, we call it um Ohobia, right? Over Dessa in Africa, they call it Juju. You see me I say? Yeah. Over Yasa, over there, they call it reader man, reader woman. Over Dessa, they call it Juju woman, Juju man. Over Dessa, they, you see me I say, my people, that's what we are works with right now. And that's what I've been working with from day dot ever since we know about because the Rasta liberty me come from. That's what my mama, who was Rasta far right, that's what she works with. She now work for nothing called no Bible. You see me I say, right? And I and I come from one of the oldest lineage. No. Because I'm gonna show you say, a lineage now. Watch lineage. Google a man called Jabi. Zimbabwe. Ja B Zimbabwe. And see what comes up. Alright, my people. Now that's <coughs> the lineage that I and I come from. And that's it. See me I say, just Google Jabi Zimbabwe and see a lineage now. And that's it.
Now back to the Boba Shanti. I ain't been being there, Mandy. <coughs> Torch right. <coughs> you're all wrong. Because you're all reading a something called a Quran. And that's where it got to end. You know what I mean? There's something called a Quran, I mean, Quran Bible. Sorry. They're all reading something called a Bible. I be, I been geek, 12 tribes, this and that. You're reading that thing called Dessa. And when you go in against argument with people and you lot take that same Bible and go in argument with people from different religion, right? This is what Rustlers do. They go against Muslims. They go against black Hebrew lights. They go against... um. J Jewish people, Jewish religion, where they go against um, Sikh religion, they go against Hindu, any religion they would argue about and go through passages. So what does that remind you of? That just reminds you of the Christian preacher, the Christian pastor, arguing his sake for the Bible, right? No different. So Rasta, here's my message. I mean, give up everyone. Cut off, put on a suit and go and head in the church because you're, do you're doing nothing different. And also, the church has made a lot more movement much more inroads than honor. If you look at all the pastors on the on the YouTube, they're all they're all Christians. <coughs> they're all Christians. You see me? I say they're all Christians, and Pastor Jennings, Pastor this, Africans, Caribbeans, all over South America, all over the damn globe. You understand? All over the damn globe. You got you got these pastors, preachers. Yet still, you haven't got women preachers, women pastors. But yet still, you haven't got no rosters. Um, bit doing anything, anything like that. Why? Because no one listens to the Rasta message. The Rasta message come from the Bible, or they're talking rubbish about some some idiot people who just come the other day. And I have to call them idiot people because they did nothing for black people. Queen Amiga, um, this one, that one, the, the, all these people, false prophets who they're putting up on some pedestal. You know what I'm Like these people done something like Martin Luther King did, like like uh, Marcus Garvey did, like Malcolm X did. No, you they didn't. So stop putting up little people them and say, I and I want these are these, these, um, Queen Amiga Empress out melanin and all these stupid people them, and you, they're just talking shit. Talking shit. You know, <clears throat> my grandfather's brother is there in pictures of the Queen of Congo in the 1800s. What does that mean? You can must put these people up and say, yeah, 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 yeah. They're just like big and yeah. It's a rustless. They're just lost and confused. Okay, and a lot of them is illiterate. A lot of rustlers I realise over the years is illiterate. This is why they try and, even when they're trying to read the Bible, they eat D and C and they can't even read. They try and read the Bible to try and make them read, to make them overstand. Because that's why Sizzler tries to read your Bible, read your, that's, read your Bible. That's why you know Sizzler was one big lost, confused idiot. Sizzler, have you ever seen Sizzler riding donkey? And riding, um, riding donkey. Have you ever seen Sizzler riding donkey? Riding mule. Because, remember, Caper and them not lick down Beanie Man. Because they say Beanie Man, after Sim Simba, he's not promoting Rasta. He's not, because they get jealous of his money he made from Sim Simba. So Caper and met Beanie Man at the airport and lick him down with a, with a telephone. Right? With about 40 Rastas. Right? See what I'm saying? Now, who, all because, and they said, the obedient man said, he ain't going to ride donkey. Stop watching my style. He come back with, with, with um, some, some songs for them. Look, stop watching my style. This is a Ross man's style. See me I say, stop watching my clothes. Stop watching my pretty style. Stop watching this and that, the way I floss. You know what I mean? You can't, and they was hating on it. Uh, you understand? So, hey, okay, Burton, there's another one just trying to rag a shit. You see me I say, trim off your locks if you keep talking about Bible. And go and practice some pussy clock, something called juju and leave me alone. Your fucking ancestors, them first choice of <coughs> of in the spiritual world to keep the pussycular enemy out. And you lot wondering why Black Pete Rasta is in a state of dilapidation today. Because the same people who's burning you and oppressing you is the same people you're, you're, you're praying to. The Bible. The Bible. Okay. So that's where I stand. You gotta realize there's a. There's, there's a deed, there's a first for this Rasta living eat it. And they talk about they don't eat meat. And they don't eat this and that. There's, all this meat, they was, you must be mad. Go and tell your ancestors, them who was getting whipped and mashed up on that slave, slave plantation not to eat meat. You damn bastards, ignorant, selfish bastards, all of one of 
all them black people in the world who say they don't eat meat. They may selfish and wicked to their ancestors because their ancestors had to eat. All, them, all of our ancestors were slaves and they had to eat. Everything that pussy clock move, anything that they could get their hands on, you damn bastards. That's why I hate with the modern society. You know, all of Uno need to go back and live back in the slave plantation. You ungrateful shit bags. Okay, and go and eat some pussy clock, real intestines, and some filthy animals to survive your pussy elves. That's why I make me cast bad word. Okay, go and eat our monkey belly and monkey body for survive a monkey head. Blood clots this. Next minute you're looking at your next, next slave counterpart next to you chained up and think trying to eat him or her to live, to survive a kind of ballistic in our genetic DNA. Okay, I don't care what no one, no guy tell me. See, that's how the entire black man live. Them say, we're not caveman, we're not this, we're not that. You stay there. Will you go and chain up as a pussy clout monkey on a pussy clout field and tell me and getting splattered all day long. And uh, raped and sodomized. And you tell me if you're not no living like no pussy clock caveman, the black man. Right. So don't talk shit to the great man. When you want to hear the truth, you come on this channel. And I free up for Arnold. That's why it's called Tarka, the pussy clock thing. With no apology. Right. Them not know about the Rasta man. The real attire Rasta man. Right. It's supposed to just run looking like a crazy man. And run and just start eat up everything. Like scavenger shit. You understand? Yeah, that's how Uno's supposed to live. The way Uno get timid and placid and bash with that idiot book called the Bible. So Uno start live in tie and suit and pretty shoes and go on like idiot. Because that's what the book, what you know, a practice tell Uno to read. You know, Sizzle look like an idiot when he wears suit and, and, and do tie and all them thing there. And then you got big turban on. Oh, fuck off. And look like your fuckery, man. That idiot thing. Modern day black man trying to look ancient. Which part of you? How, which part of Uno is talking about ancient? There's nothing ancient about Rasta. Stop put ancient before Rasta far away as well. Because your Uno just come to your idea. It's a new something. You see me I say? So go away with that as well. There's nothing ancient about it. Except you, when you like, keep keeping yourself in certain ways. Okay? In certain ways. The way Uno keep your beard and it's got all food on it and all that. That's filthy. There's nothing ancient about that. You know what I mean? You just need to trim and clean yourself up and look proper. Okay? If you want to look like a caveman, look like a proper blood clot caveman. But don't try and come half, half, half and half. You see me I say? And when you want more knowledge, you come and drop it. I drop more for Uno and Yasser. Rastafari liberty is gone nowhere in the 21st century. Remember that. Gone one. It's, it can't even go. It's gone 100 years backward because they're not that old. Okay. It just keeps going backward and backward and backward. They need to start to ride goat. They need to start to ride goat, camel. And start live like real ancient people them. And stop drive BMW and Mercedes. And start look. Stop. Take out the crack of the errand from your back yo. That you keep on distributing to your own black brother and sister. And say you're vegan while you're doing that. Okay. That's why I got no respect for none of Uno. Okay. And li live up to the liberty of Rastafari according to talk up that thing. Simple as that.